Whether you know it or not, we all need friends. They play a crucial part in helping us grow as an individual and developing our personality. And not only do they help us, but we also help them as well, making sure that it goes both ways. Truly being a mutualistic, symbiotic relationship. But what happens if you lie to your friend and betray their trust? Well, in today's video, we'll be talking about how easily you can gain a friend and then lose them in a matter of seconds with Tea at the Tree Dome episode of Spongebob. But before we go and analyze, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification for the next video. My community tab will be doing votes often to help me make the next video, so make sure to check that out. With all that out the way, let's get into the video. The episode starts out with Spongebob jellyfish watching until he hears someone fighting a giant clam. I relate this scene to finding new people to talk to in high school, meeting others in college, or encountering strangers in public. Spongebob is hesitant at first, and that can relate to it being stressful to push yourself to start the conversation. But in this scenario, Spongebob is trying to help them. This makes it much of an easier chance of introducing yourself while also putting less stress on you making the first move. Spongebob, the naive sponge that he is, gets stuck himself, leading him to be the victim Was that the but in the nick of time sandy comes in doing a kickflip off of the giant clam and starts her true combo string sending the animal into space which i have to say that this is some animal abuse right here that clam did nothing wrong after the smackdown of that poor animal spongebob notices that sandy likes karate just like he does and he I'm introduces SpongeBob. himself Once the formalities are done with, Sandy shows off her skills in karate and she obliterates this poor rock out of nowhere. But besides the jokes, when she shows just how capable she is in karate, it can give off a lot of pressure to be just as good as her. But with Spongebob, he doesn't really care and just acts like himself. Yeah, watch this! This obviously can relate to real life. Maybe your new friend is better at you in video games, or maybe making art, or just something you have in common with them. Either you can become envious and start small arguments with them, or you can be like Spongebob and be yourself having fun, making jokes, and not getting jealous. But like I said in the beginning, you can easily lose the chance of being friends if you act out of spite, jealousy, or hatred. With a bit more talking here and there, Spongebob asks about Sandy's outfit, if he could wear her helmet. Sandy exclaims that she needs it for her to breathe air, with Spongebob following suit saying he loves air. Now, this is the big moment where Spongebob lies, and you might be thinking, it's a small little lie. What can possibly go wrong? You really thought it was that simple? This is where madness starts 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 start. let's take a moment to picture this you just met this amazing friend that has almost everything in common with you you talk to them every day and you hang out with them all the time it seems like nothing can get in the way of both of you but one day your friend opens up to you about something tragic it could be a loss in a family, money issues, or something that makes them upset. Now, either you could be a good friend and just listen to them, or you lie 
and try to relate to them by making up a story just to get closer to them. But you truly have no idea what you're talking about. If you're just listening to this and wondering who would do such a thing, well, sadly to say, a lot of people have done this very thing. Whether it's out of fear, love, or whatever emotion that drives you to make dumb decisions. So, how does this relate to Spongebob and Sandy? First, take that very tragic event with your friend and replace the air moment with it. And then just take Spongebob as the same, lying and trying to relate to Sandy. Now that the stage is set, Let's continue with the story. Spongebob gets invited to the crib, and before showing up, he immediately goes to Patrick to ask what is air, aka tragic event. Now, we all have that one friend where we just ask questions because they might know more about the situation, but in this case, those friends can be a bad influence. Instead of Patrick saying, stop lying you idiot, and just explain yourself, he just adds more fuel to the fire. At this point, they should just legalize nuclear bombs because no one is surviving the act. They head out to Sandy's tree dome, and Spongebob steps inside the airlock. This scene perfectly describes what it feels like when reality unfolds right before your eyes, as guilt takes a hold of you. As the water disappears, so too does Spongebob's courage, seeing guilt take over as he doesn't fully understand what the lie has turned into. He steps inside the tree dome, trying to act natural, but suffering from the pressure of the lie. Now, obviously, we know the little bro is just dehydrated, but this is what it can feel like when guilt, stress, and fear take over when you continue to keep up a lie. Deep down in your conscience, you know that you did wrong by your friend and betrayed their trust. Whatever you do from here on out will not matter and the damage is already done. You either can keep up the lie until everything comes back at you in 10 folds, or you break under pressure and tell them. But at the end of the day, it's your friend you betrayed to make the choice to keep being friends with you or cut ties. A little small note to add here is that some friends can make you believe it's okay to lie. Patrick is a good example. Just not really caring about the situation and downplaying how serious it had gotten until he gets involved as well, suffering the same side effects as you. Don't be a bad friend. It might seem simple not to lie or not to do dumb stuff, but it can happen easily with some few words. Watch what you say and make sure you cherish the people around you. We tend to go blind when things go haywire, so it's always a good thing to keep yourself in check. Show the love and make new friends by being you. If you love this video, then I know you'll love the bubble bass theory on why he's a hero. Or maybe you want to rethink about what you're doing right now with my theory on party pooper pants. Either way, thank you for watching the video. It means the world that you guys keep on showing the love. The next video after this one will be even a bigger topic than this one. Thank you again for Hades for reading over my script. And I'll see you guys next time. Love y'all.